Happy Mass Monday! My mass today is cucumber essence face mask soothing and depuffifying. <laughs> depuffing? Depuffing. <laughs> yeah, I do get puffy under my eyes, so hopefully it'll depuff my eyes. <laughs> So I went to lunch with some friends today. No, get away. And uh, <laughs> then I went over to help design our tablescape we're gonna do for that ladies tea I go to every year. It's coming up in a couple weeks. And when I got home, I had a little surprise. A couple days ago, when I was in bed reading or watching TV or something, <laughs> Kit kind of cuddled up to me and let me pet his tummy, and I used that excuse of petting his tummy to get up under his shirt and get one leg out. And then he ran off <laughs> and wouldn't let me get the rest of it. So he's kind of one leg slipped down and it's kind of like down to here and he's kind of limping a little bit. And I'm like, I gotta figure out what to do about that. I don't want it rubbing on him and hurting him or anything. And I came home from work to, no, not from work, from play today and he had gotten it off of himself somehow. I don't know how, it had it still around his neck and around his leg, and somehow he got his shirt off. So yay, his shirt's finally off, and I will show you wherever it goes, a picture of him with no shirt on, so you see what the, the real deal looks like instead of that red shirt all the time. <laughs> so today we're going to do, I'm gonna do half of them now and half of them, I'm doing this, collab where we do six, not six, seven face mask days in a row. So I'm gonna do half of these now and save the other half for one of those seven days. So I Googled um, crazy trivia facts. And so I have some crazy trivia facts and some of these are pretty crazy, like the first one. There's a company that turns dead bodies into an ocean reef, reef, reef. I was gonna say reef, but it's a reef. It's called Eternal Reefs and it offers an innovative solution. It mixes the cremated remains of a person with concrete to create a pearl onto which loved ones can etch personal messages, handprints, or environmentally friendly mementos. The pearl is then encased in a reef ball and is dropped in the sea where it provides a new habitat for fish and other sea life. Huh, that's pretty weird. <laughs> the name Bonobo, which is a type of monkey, resulted from a misspelling. Bonobo is a common name for apes may sound like some sort of translation or a meaningful term, but in fact, it was a result of a typo. They found the first such animal in Bolobo, Zaire, Zaire, in the 20s, and the name was misspelled to Bonobo on the shipping crate, and so then that's what they've been calling them ever since. <laughs> There's an annual coffee break festival. I know a lot of you coffee people would like that. Oh, why do I have such trouble with these stupid... tripods. <laughs> uh, let's see, this Coffee Bug Festival is in, where is it? Stroughton, Wisconsin. So you Wisconsin people, you could go to the Coffee Break Festival. You can buy a flying bicycle. <laughs> Dolphins sleep with one eye open. We always joke about, uh, we're gonna watch, be watching you, I'm sleeping with one eye open. Kit's going nuts because there's a squirrel out there tormenting him, but I don't really like him going out with when the squirrels are out there because he can jump so high, he can practically jump over the fence. And it's a six foot fence and he's like maybe 10, 12 inches tall. So he's a jumper. Um, vacuum cleaners were originally horse drawn. What? One of the earliest known vacuum cleaners was so large that it had to be hauled from house to house via a horse-drawn carriage. Its giant hoses were popped through the windows of customers and a gas-powered motor generated the suction to pull the dirt and debris 
into a glass container where all the could gawk at the volume of filth coming from their neighbors' homes. <laughs> the largest padlock in the world weighs 916 pounds. Why on earth would you need a padlock that weighs 916 pounds? McDonald's introduced the drive through service due to the military. This is kind of interesting. I'll read you the whole thing because I thought it was interesting. You may not, but I thought it was interesting. <laughs> the first McDonald's drive through was installed in a restaurant based in Sierra Vista, Arizona, located near the Fort Hirachi military installation. Military rules forbade the soldiers from wearing their military uniforms in public and they weren't about to change into civilian clothes just to grab a burger and run back to base. So restaurant manager David Rich came up with a solution. He cut a hole in the wall at, and allowed members of the military to pick up their orders without stepping out of their car. This convenience and simplicity of the idea quickly caught on, and now that's most of us never even go inside McDonald's. We just drive through. Okay, what do we got here? Pigs don't sweat. So when we say sweating like a pig, it means we're not sweating at all, I guess. <laughs> the fuller the fridge, the more energy efficient it is. Well, I, I kind of think I think I knew that. It's something about the cold food and the, I don't know. This is kind of cool. There's a Lego bridge in Germany that you can walk across. Those are some big old Legos. <laughs> the umbrellas were once used only by women. Yeah, you because know, I know back in the way back, like 1800s, 1600s, whatever, they used parasols, and then I guess, you know, then they got that developed into ones to use during the rain, and then eventually men saw the wisdom of the, having them for the rain and they started um, doing using them too. For 20 years a cat served as mayor of an Alaskan town. Actually they didn't really have a mayor so because it was such a small town, 772 people, so the cat became an honorary mayor and he was like a tourist attraction and gained fans from around the world and served in that position for years till his death in 2017. Squirrels are behind the most power outages in the U.S. because they get in there and they chew on the wires, little boogers. <laughs> Spider webs were used as bandages in ancient times. I think I knew that too. I know all these useless bits of information. <laughs> a woman who, woman who lost her wedding ring found it 16 years later on a carrot in her garden. A woman in Sweden lost her wedding ring while cooking for Christmas in 1995. She looked everywhere for it and even had her kitchen floor pulled up, hoping that she could find it, but she wouldn't until 2012. While gardening, 16 years later, the woman found the ring around a carrot. That's interesting. <laughs> Must have got thrown out, you know, composted or whatever with the peelings from stuff. One quarter of all your bones are located in your feet. That one I did not know. So there's 216 bones, I think. So that means there's 50-ish bones in your feet. 52 bones, I was close. <laughs> blood donors in Sweden receive a text when their blood is used. I guess. It's kind of like when you do those shoe boxes, you can get a text or an email telling you who ended up with your box or at least what country it went to. That dog, there's got to be a squirrel out there because he's going from window to window, window to window. You're more likely to get a computer virus from visiting religious sites than porn sites. Well, that's just weird. The inventor of the Pringles can is now buried in one. Okay. A couple 
We'll get a little morbid here. There's a couple of death ones in here. <laughs> Sunglasses were originally designed for Chinese judges to hide their facial expressions in court. Hmm. I can see that. You can't tell what somebody's expression is when you've got sunglasses on. Alrighty, a couple more, and then we'll save some for another time. Cotton candy was invented by a dentist. <laughs> That's funny. Shakespeare's epitaph contains a curse for grave robbers. I guess if you rob his grave, you're cursed. This thing, this is another one I'm, I knew. Children of identical twins are genetically siblings, not cousins. And I saw this one that was, um, it was two identical twins married two identical twins. So their children were definitely genetically brothers and sisters. A giant tortoise thought to be extinct for hundreds of years was discovered in the Galapagos Islands. He's like an albino looking tortoise. The Goodyear blimp is the official bird of Redondo Beach, California. <laughs> Why? It would take only one hour to drive to space. If you got into your car and turn on the ignition and drove to the sky at 60 miles an hour, it would take just one hour to get to the out, it, to outer space. Of course, this is purely theoretical, but it's fun to think about. <laughs> A cornflake in the shape of Illinois sold on eBay for $1,350. I, mean, I don't eat cornflakes, but maybe I should start looking at them and see if they look like anything. <laughs> Give myself some money. How oh, this one's interesting. The amount of copper on the Arizona's Capitol building roof is equivalent to nearly 5 million pennies. That's a lot of copper. Okay, one more. Oh, yeah, I read this one earlier. A cloud can weigh more than a million pounds. And I was like, what? They're like fluffy, empty things. Clouds are not as light and fluffy as they appear. In fact, researchers have found that a single cloud could weigh about 1.1 million pounds. How do they know? Well, that number is calculated by taking the water density of a cloud and multiplying it by its volume. Fortunately, the cloud can still float at the, that weight because the air below it is even heavier. Okay, one more. This one's really interesting, and <laughs> then we'll quit. <laughs> uh, the Apollo 11 crew used hundreds of autographs as life insurance. Neil Armstrong and the Apollo 11 crew faced the real chance that they wouldn't return from the moon safely, leaving their families without financial support. Due to the extreme danger... No. Due to the extreme danger that they were about to face, they couldn't take out life insurance policies. So instead, they signed hundreds of autographs which their families would have been able to sell if they didn't make it home. Luckily, those life insurance autographs weren't needed. They do, however, show up in space memorabilia auctions occasionally today, selling for as much as $30,000. All right, so that is it for this Mask Monday. So I hope you all enjoyed my crazy facts and we will see you sometime soon. I have my wee blessings should come towards the end of this month, which is soon. <laughs> my roommate's supposed to be here this weekend. Uh, my new roommate. Um, what else? Uh, my ice cream's on the way, so we'll see that. So that's what's, that's what's coming up to a screen near you. Love y'all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.